today's video I wanted to do a quick tutorial for you it's probably not that quick on the look that I have right now this is a smoky halo eye with some gold in the center I actually wore this look for one of my best friend in needs birthday party and I really like the way it turned out I will leave our tag that we did together our best friend tag up here in the corner so you guys can see that if you want to this look might seem complicated but it's actually very easy and I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial so let's get into the video Okay, so I'm starting the tutorial by priming my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just blending that in with my L'Oreal sponge. And then I'm going to set that down using my Cody Airspun Extra Translucent Powder with a big fluffy brush. And then going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm taking the shade Golden Ochre, which you guys should already know is my favorite shade, and I'm just applying this into my crease, going up towards my brow bone but not quite touching my brow. Now on a small shading brush, I'm going to go lightly into the color Cypress Umber and I'm applying this to my outer V just up into my crease. You don't want to go with a lot of product on this because you run the risk of having stark lines when you go to put the halo color on the center of your lid because it's so light. So you just want to go really slow with this color and build it up and blend as much as you can. This look is very easy but it requires a lot of blending. Now I just keep picking up a little bit of product and blending it in. You want to deepen up the V but really leave the edges diffused. Now with the same brush and same color I'm going to go ahead and work on the inner corner of my eye avoiding the very center of my eye and I'm not going above my crease either. So I'm just applying this on the very inner corner and then diffusing the color out. And now I'm going to go back in and just re-blend the edges just to make sure it's very diffused. Now I'm going to go back over with the clean brush and just blend out the edges. Now on a flat brush I'm going to go into the color Primavera and I'm going to apply this to the center of my lid. And I'm taking this just to where the brown color starts going slightly over but not going above my crease. With no additional product on my brush, I'm going to take the small shading brush and just go in my crease to connect the two outer colors. On another crease brush, I'm going to take warm taupe and just deepen up my crease to connect the two colors again. To build up the color on the center of my lid, I'm going to go in with this highlighter from Wet n Wild and I'm just applying that with my finger to the very center of my lid. Then with no additional product on this brush, I'm just blending out the edges. Now to deepen up the gold shade, I'm going to take this eyeshadow from ColourPop and just apply this to the center of my lid just to give it a more yellowy gold look and then I'm just going to clean up under my eyes. Now I'm going to take Tempera and I'm just going to apply this under my brow bone just to lighten it. Then I'm going to use the shade Vermeer just to highlight the arch of my brow. Just to soothe some of the redness, I'm going to apply the NYX primer base to my face. Just dab it in. And as usual, I'm going to mix these two color correctors just to get a peachy color to hide some of my under eye circles because I got some. If you are lucky and don't have under eye circles, you can just omit this step. And then I'm going to go in with the Sheer Envy Primer from Hard Candy and just dab this in as well. This just makes my makeup last longer and smooth some of my pores. Now I'm going to conceal just anywhere where I have a little bit of extra redness or any spots on my face you know the drill and if you don't you should because this is what I typically do you probably see it in every video of mine sorry and I'm just gonna blend that in using my L'Oreal sponge I love this sponge so much it's the best sponge in the world just in case you were wondering it's my favorite I decided to try to give this foundation one last ditch effort to wear I, I don't like this foundation. I use it mostly because the color is perfect for me, but it just doesn't look good after a couple of hours. Like this foundation does not last on me. I think it looks beautiful when you first apply it. So for the video it works, but 
to last you all day, eh, I would go with something else like the L'Oreal Pro I can't talk. The L'Oreal Pro Glow or the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend this foundation, but we're here and I used it, so let's keep trucking. And now I'm going to conceal again using my Tarte Shape Tape, this time under my eyes. And I'm applying very little amount of this. I didn't want it to look too heavy. And I blend it in with my L'Oreal sponge. And as per the use, I go ahead and set all my concealer using the Cody Airspun powder and then just use whatever is remaining on the rest of my face just so that the other powders apply good on top and then I'm going to take my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula and go ahead and bronze the outer perimeter of my face and my cheekbones. I'm going to the LA Colors contour palette. I'm going to take that color right there and go ahead and contour my face lightly. Just doing my cheekbones and around my forehead, you know, closer to the edge of where I bronzed. I've been liking bronzing and then contouring. I feel like you get a more cohesive blended look, but you do you. You can do it in any order that you want. Now going into this Cover Girl blush, I'm going to go ahead and apply this just to the outer edges of my cheeks. I don't bring this into the apples because I have a lot of texture there, so I just keep this on the outer edges. Now I'm going to take this bronzer from Wet n Wild, which is too light to be a bronzer, but it's perfect for a glowy look. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over the center of my face. And then I'm going to take this highlighter from the LA Colors Contour Palette, and I'm going to highlight all the high points of my face, my cheeks, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, my forehead. You guys should know the drill by now. You see it on every video, I'm sure, from everybody. But it's the best way to do it, I think. Now going into raw sienna on a flat brush, I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my lower lash line, taking this all the way in to the corner of my eye. Not sure why I have to sing that, but I'm going to take golden ochre and just apply this to the bottom of what I just put down just to blend out the edges. Now on a very small flat brush, I'm going to take a cypress umber and I'm just going to apply this close to my lash line, bringing this all the way in before I tight line just to deepen up where my lashes meet my eyeball. Not my eyeball, lower lash line, you get what I'm saying, right? I think so. Now using my pinky finger, I'm going to go back into this highlighter from Wet n Wild and just highlighting the inner corner of my eye just to give it a nice goldeny pop. Now I'm done with all my powders, I'm going to go ahead and use the Makeup Setting Spray from Hard Candy and I'm just spraying this all over. Yes, I go ham on it, can't help it. You guys are probably tired of me talking about this, but this is the e.l.f. Brow Pencil and I'm just going to fill in my brows as usual. I'm going to take the Essence Make Me Brow just on the front half of my eyebrows just to give it a little more oomph and then I'm going to take the Rimmel Brow This Way gel and set my brows in place. Now I'm going to tight line using the Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner on the top and bottom lash line and then I'm going to put on mascara which is the Voluminous Lash Paradise in Waterproof. And then it's returning to the false lashes. These are the Kiss Number 11s. I love them. I miss them, but with a halo eye, I feel like they're necessary. And then I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. And I'm actually filling in my lips all the way with this liner because I'm just putting a gloss on top. And this is the lip gloss that I'm using from Wet n Wild that I love so much. It's so pretty. And it lasts a while. And then when it fades, it just looks very shiny and pretty. I love this a lot. And then I'm going to take this e.l.f. eyeshadow and I know it's an eyeshadow, but there's no rules in makeup. And I'm just applying that to the center of my lips for that rose gold look. And that's it. That completes the look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, guys. That concludes that tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> to one of my best friend's birthday and needs. I will leave a... It wasn't your best friend's. It was...
Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's my husband. He's going to be in this video whether he likes it or not. Because he's been watching me this whole time. Which is a little weird. but And I really like the way it turned. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to do anything else. That was just the one. Please don't because I am running out of storage. I have one to look like. I can't do it with you looking at me. Also, um, I don't know what I was going to say. That sounds dumb. Yeah, that sounds better. Did you like what I did with my hands? I'm always over this, so don't laugh. Don't smile. Keep it straight. Sadly, you cannot be enticed.